Welcome back guys, Zell here, and today we're talking about the Kershaw Zing SS. It's one of Kershaw's budget line of knives. It comes in somewhere in the low 20s uh, US, but it has fairly good blade steel and good build quality. Now I have to admit I've had the knife for about a year. Uh, my wife got it for me for Christmas last year and I never carried it. It fairly quickly I sharpened it up and put it in my uh, range bag and it served me well there but there was just nothing about the knife, the look of the knife, that ever got me to stick it in my pocket. So now guys let's take a closer look at the Kershaw Zing SS. Looking closer at the Kershaw Zing SS we see that it has kind of a different shaped pocket clip but it works pretty good it's not one of those deep carry pocket clips but it does its job and that pocket clip for right-handed pocket carry is tip down blade forward or tip up blade forward or back there are grilled and tapped holes on this end of the knife which will allow you to carry the knife tip up and another set here on the other side of the knife so you can move that clip to where you want it. If you're left-handed, uh, tip-down carry is only with the blade back. Now, looking around the rest of the knife, it's all heat blasted stainless. Not much to see here. The entire knife is a single gray color, which may work out great for you. Moving around to the back of the knife, we have a spacer here and a little bit of jimping across that spacer. Not very aggressive, but it works out all right. Also have some jimping here, three little lines worth, so that whenever you grab the knife, along with that little hump there, you've got something to keep your thumb in place and give you a good grip. And this knife does, with my medium-sized hands, it grips fairly well. <clears throat> it's not the best I've felt, but it's definitely not the worst either. The Kershaw Zing SS Model 1730 is just shy of 4 inches long closed. It's about 6 and 3 quarter inches open. The blade length total is 3 inches and the edge length is about 2.7. All those measurements came off of my calipers, not uh, the manufacturers. Also, my scales put this knife at 3.45 ounces. So it's a pretty light knife, and thickness-wise, guys, it's only about 35 hundredths of an inch. So it is nice and thin, pretty much disappears against the back of your pocket. When we look at the blade shape, we have kind of a drop point. It has a bit of a hump here on the back of it, but it works well for general cutting tasks. As we flip around to the inside, we can see that it is a frame lock, and the frame lock covers a little over half of that back tab on the blade, which gives it really, really good lock up. Uh, open and close. Side to side, if you really press the point, you can get just a wee bit of play in it. The materials that the knife are made out of are 8 CR13 MOV for the blade, which is a pretty reasonable steel. It'll hold an edge decently and for a fairly long time. And it will also sharpen fairly easy. The scales are made of 410 stainless and as we said the entire thing has been bead blasted so you have kind of a monotone finish across the entire knife. Alright guys one thing I left out of the uh, closer look was the knife works just fine right-handed and of course works just fine left-handed. Also because of the flipper it has something nice to touch up against your thumb to tell you to get it out of the way so that you can go ahead and close it. And that, of course, works both left and right-handed. 
in my opinion on the knife. It's a great little performer. It does its job well. It's thin at 0.35 I believe it was inches. Whenever you put this thing in your pocket, it just goes away. It's out of the way. There's no sharp edges to uh, catch your hand as you get things in and out of your pocket, which makes it a great clip style pocket knife. And at only, I've seen it 20 to $25, it's a very reasonably priced knife that you can go out and use and not worry about. And that's always great to get a decent quality knife that you don't have to worry about. And that's a lot of what you get with most of the Kershaw knives. Very good quality, very reasonable prices, so you can go out and use that knife like a knife ought to be able to be used and not have to worry about breaking it because if you do, sure it may have been your favorite knife, but you can probably scrounge up another 20 or 30 bucks to replace it. So that's kind of my thoughts on that one. And you know, I really, really appreciate you guys stopping by. And if you'd click that like or subscribe button, that would be awesome. And this here, this is a Victorinox Swiss Army Trekker. We'll be looking at it very soon. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time.